be recording. Mm, I already look a mess, too. Whew. Look at me from the bottom. Me with the lip gloss already look a hot mess. Hold on, I'll be right back. Welcome back to TouchedByTyHairCo.com. If this is your first time, welcome home, Angel. What took you so long to get here? I'm happy to see you, girl. Go and have a seat, girl. And when you have that seat, go on and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Okay, because you're home and you, you need to be able to, you could, you, we, go, we, we got to talk every day, honey. I need you to, you know, don't, don't do me. Okay? Don't do me. Anyway, we all know it doesn't matter how you feel. God is still worthy to be praised. Amen. Happy to be in the land of the living. Happy to be happy to be talking to you. So you clicked on this video for a reason. Today we're going to talk about wig maker. A wig makers must have. Okay. These are the things that you need to get if you want to make wigs. Okay. Okay. These are your needs. This is your mise en place, you know, all your good ingredients. This is everything that you need. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, first thing that you're going to need is a mesh dome cap. Now, you do not have to have mesh dome caps. In wig making, they are, we use several caps. We have ventilated caps. We have the mesh caps with the mesh on the side and the, ventilate, the ventilation in the middle. Like caps, it's, it's a whole new day and age with caps. But for beginners, for beginners, I recommend, I highly recommend using a dome mesh cap. You can even use a span cap. So the span is like the smooth, do, 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 what they call them? do rag looking caps that you put on your head. They're just like this, but it's not mesh. That's the span, or you could use these. So this is what your um, standard dome mesh cap looks like, okay? And again, these are very, very beginner friendly caps, beginner friendly, all right? You can order these on Amazon. Um, I get mine from Amazon. You can also get them from your local beauty supply store. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave the link for them down in the description box for you, okay? I'll leave the link for everything down in the description box. Next, you're going to need some needle. I'm sorry, some needle, Lord. Next, you're gonna need some thread. This, you can also get from Amazon or you can get it from your local beauty supply store. Um, this nylon thread, it's very sturdy. You need nylon. I recommend you getting nylon thread. Some wig makers use other threads. However, I use the same traditional sewing thread. Like nylon is the best thread, okay, for wig making, in my opinion. And it's also very beginner friendly. All right. You're going to need measuring tape. Okay, the loose measuring tape. I use the Singer brand. This you can get, everything I'm showing you, you can get from Amazon. You definitely can get it from Amazon, but I got this one from Walmart. Okay, and it was like two bucks. And it comes with, you're also going to need the um, the um, seam ripper. Okay, I recommend having a seam ripper. If you make mistakes, you bust the seam, you go back, it's easy to fix. So this right here, Walmart or Amazon.com. I'll leave the link down in the description box. <laughs> All right, moving right along, metallic markers. You are definitely gonna need a pack of metallic markers. These, again, I'm showing you beginner-friendly items. You will see some wig makers use chalk. Some people have chalk pens. I do, um, if I don't have a metallic pen, I also have a chalk pen that I like to use, but when I am teaching, these are easy to find. They're very economical and um, yeah. They're beginner friendly, okay? So metallic, I use the uh, silver when I'm doing a, new, a black cap and when I'm doing nude caps or blonde hair, I use the gold. 
okay? So a pack of these. You're gonna need some needles, okay? You see here I am using Singer items because I have a Singer Heavy Duty 44S sewing machine, okay? And we will get into sewing machines towards the end of this video, but you will see me using um, Singer items because I, that's the type of machine that I have. You're gonna need heavy duty needles. So you're either with needles, you can use, I wanna say they have, they'll say like denim. I don't know the numbers, I wish I did. Denim, um, leather, um, heavy duty. You need those type of needles in wig making. I want to say it starts, I want to say that the denim is like a 90. It Don't go below that because they're so easy to break. I really, really recommend you getting a hundred or higher on your needle number. So me, I use a heavy duty needle. Um, I use a 110 over 18. So I don't use anything under a hundred, okay? Um, either it's a titanium or it's a heavy duty needle. You're gonna need that. Very important because you will go through needles like crazy when you first start. Um, if you don't have the proper needle, let's align with me. Next thing you're gonna need, shears, okay? Now, I live by Fiskar. This is probably in my opinion, okay, one of the best brands in scissors for um, industrial use. And making wigs is industrial use, is heavy duty use. I definitely, definitely recommend you getting you some Fiskar scissors. They have them like this, okay? These are really, really easy, okay? They're really easy to snip. They snip the threads well. They they snip through um, the the threading, the the track. They slip through. They cut those with ease, okay? And they're very, very, very sharp, very sharp. Okay, so I recommend these. They have them like this, or you can get them if you like to have the. You know, it just depends on what you like. But I like these. These are very easy, okay? Um, what else I said? You're go okay. No shade. The hair life, the official hair life. Follow her on Instagram. I'm going to put her Instagram name right here. Saved my life when she put this information out, okay? It's important to give back. It's important to give back to the community. Our girl definitely dropped a gem, all right, with these pre-made bobbins. These are a game changer. They're going to make your wig making life so easy. They're beginner friendly. They're expert friendly. Get you some pre-threading bobbins. I will never go back to threading bobbins ever. Thank you, Hair Life. Anyway, um, yeah, you can get these on Amazon.com. I will definitely make sure for everything that all the links are left down in the description box. But if you don't get nothing else, make sure you get these. Make sure you get these. You're going to need them. Um, be aware that the uh, size, there are different sizes with these. So if you have a Singer Heavy Duty, we use Class 15 transparent bobbins. So these are for my machine. So if you choose to get these, make sure you get the correct size for your machine. Okay? Thread. You're going to need thread. Okay? Not this type of thread. You're going to need for your machine type of thread. Okay? Now, I get my thread from Joann's to each his own. Everybody uses a different brand of thread. If it's not broke, I ain't fixing it. I've started with uh, Cokes and Clark. This is a nylon thread, okay? It's a nylon thread and I get it from Joanne Fabrics or you can get it from Amazon. You get three of them for like five bucks, four bucks. And I have a crap ton. Not only do I get them in this color, but I also get them in this color for my 613 wigs. I use hot, picks, hot pink stitching on my tags. So I just like this brand. Get you a good brand, but I recommend this, okay? Last but not least, things I wish I knew, okay? It's on my machine and I'm gonna try to turn it around here so you guys can see it, but uh, 
a open toe presser foot, okay? Your machine is gonna come with a standard presser foot. Make sure you purchase you a open toe presser foot. Had I started with that, oh my God, an open toe presser foot. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Hold on a second. Digging, but your girl found it. See that? Do y'all see? Hold on, let me turn around. This is the better way for you to see. See that? It says open toe foot. Okay, if you have a Singer heavy duty machine, this is what you need. Okay, this is what it looks like. And it's pretty standard for every machine. Get this. Okay, you're going to need it. You are going to need a open toe presser foot. Make sure you get one. Maybe 10, less than 10 bucks. Do yourself a favor. Get one of these. You're going to need it. Last but not least, um, I want to talk about these. Okay, these are the combs that go inside of the wigs. They, when depending on your business and what you offer within your business, me, I do do custom made units. So, custom means that you know you get it's like listen, you get what you want, you get what you pay for. So, I do offer these type of combs to go in my wigs. Um, so I will leave the link for that. You can get these on Amazon or at your local beauty supply store. Um, you even have vendors, like if you have a hair vendor, sometimes your hair vendor may have these and you can get them in bulk, okay? Another thing that I wanna talk about that you're going to need at some point is adjustable bands, okay? And if you don't know what those are, these are adjustable bands, okay? If you have a hair vendor, get with your hair vendor. Your hair vendor may have these and you can buy them in bulk, okay? If they offer them, I recommend getting them. This is what you use for your glueless wear if you choose to offer that, those type of wigs. Um, I buy mine in bulk from my girl, The Hair Life, <laughs> okay? I get mine from her. They are, and if you're looking for some, I recommend you following her on Instagram and getting some from her because they are the bomb. She has them in black and nude, okay? So you're definitely gonna need these. And yeah, I think I have given y'all the wig making essentials. Um, so let me share my sewing machine with y'all so you guys could see what sewing machine I use. <laughs> so guys, this is my sewing machine. I do have the Singer Heavy Duty 44S sewing machine. Um, let me see if I can get in there for y'all. That is my open foot. I'm sorry, that's my open toe presser foot that I was talking about and I just slide my cap and my weft through there and I begin sewing. I'm also gonna share my machine settings with you all. Um, I normally keep my tension in between like a four, four or five. Um, you have to test these out just to see what you like and what works for you. Like I said, I normally keep it like a four or in between a four and a five. I always keep my needle position, okay? That's what that's for, on center, okay? And then my width is always at a six, five and a half, six, okay? For my stitching. And then my knob, my length, I normally keep it in between a two and a half and a three. This is just the settings that I prefer, okay? You guys do what works for you. My stitching is normally at a zigzag when I am using the mesh caps. I use a zigzag stitching. If I am using a ventilated cap, I'm using a straight stitch method, okay? So this is my baby and she has been good to me. All right. All right, guys, so that's it. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to give you my essentials for wig making. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my website, touchbytiehairco.com for all your crown needs, okay? I have custom wigs of all styles, all flavors, all right? Make sure you go, you check out the website, touchbytiehairco.com. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at touchbytiehairco and like our business page on Facebook. Touch by Tie Hair Co. is now offering one-on-one -on -one wig making classes. If you're interested in a class, contact us at touchbytiehairco at outlook.com to book your one-on-one -on -one with me, okay? Um, I 
think I covered all the bases, you know. I think y'all came here, y'all got what y'all needed. Plus, I threw in my machine settings for y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. If you haven't, make sure you check out my vlog series, okay, of me going through cosmetology school. Yes, your girl is in cosmetology school, pushing this thing, all right, getting legit, getting all the way in there, all right. Thanks again for tuning in, and I will see y'all. Actually, I'll see y'all tomorrow in school. Touch by Ty Herco.